Of course, Liverpool missed out on the opportunity to go top of the table after that defeat against Spurs because City dropped their first point of the season, losing against Wolves, of course, at the weekend. Uh, Manchester City have dominated Premier League over recent seasons, uh, winning by up to 12 points, of course, in 2021, uh, just a one point in 2022. Uh, Mario and Frank are with us. Mario, looking at this title race, as a whole, as we've got a few games under our belt, Manchester City obviously remain favourites. But we're gonna, do you think we're going to see them pushed all the way from what you've seen from the likes of Liverpool and Arsenal? Yeah, I mean, look, uh, you, you want that to happen too. Because if you're looking at the league, you want, you want the competition. That, that's also the key thing why everybody enjoys the, you know, the Premier League. When you have teams that can beat you anytime. OK, for City to lose... What is it? They haven't what two games in two seasons or whatever the number was. Or, but they they are so uh, vital in in the sense of like their objective. They always like he always prepped them. Even when they lost this game, you just saw him like talking after the game. He wanted to get on and already thinking about the next game that's coming. So having said that, yeah. I want I want the Arsenal's and and the Liverpool's. I want them to run right up to them and make it really difficult for them. I don't want the City just to run away with it and make it easy for them. So I hope that's gonna. It was a shake up because no one expected that result to happen because <laughs> they had the opportunities. But for to be being beaten by a team like that, you don't expect City that happen that to happen to City. Who do you think is going to push them the most, Frank? Well, I have to, I have to, to, um, to say that uh, it's going to be a race between, between the three that we see, maybe some others, maybe Newcastle or Bright, uh, Brighton going to follow. But the, the Tottenham, uh, Liverpool and Arsenal is going to push the most and they're going to, and City, if they keep on losing points like they do, um, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they will have to give what, what they did last season at the end of the, uh, of the Premier League, uh, the maximum to, uh, to, uh, take over the others and, uh, and finally win. But, um, you will have like five, I would say, yeah, between four and five teams capable of chasing Manchester City and giving them a, a hard time. Are we stretching this? Are we pushing it? Yeah. They've lost one game. Un unexpectedly, but they've lost one game. Um, and, and you just don't see that happening all that often. And, <clears> and again, I, I just keep going back to last season where I thought City started first half of the season. They, they, were, they were poor, but they just... Oh, by their standards, they just have a way of putting together a back, uh, a second half of the season like, like nobody else's business. You cannot afford for City to get a gap on anybody else because they manage the running um, in incredibly well. Right now, I, I still think Liverpool are the second best team in the league. That's that's second best. I still I still think City City go on and win it. Yeah, I can't argue with that. I think I think Liverpool and Arsenal, will, if anybody, are the two. Teams. Why is no one talking about Spurs? They're second in the table. Spurs are not deep <laughs> enough, Dan. They they rely too heavily on. Yeah. Listen, Madison, Madison, for example, over the last two or three seasons has missed a lot of games with injuries. He is so pivotal to them that if he goes down, they can't replace him. They can't. Or if Son goes down. Those two are so important that if something harms to either of them... But they, they haven't gone down, have they? <laughs> Not yet. Oh. I, I, I do, think... you expect, do you expect the two of them to play every game between now and the end of the season? I certainly don't. Not with Madison's injury record. And the fact is that, I, that, that Spurs will lose games the way they play. So, yeah, they don't have a deep enough squad and they rely too yeah, heavily TV. on two players in particular. S uh, go on, Frank. S Stevie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, it does the same for any club, especially uh, if I'm getting, uh, you can going into your, your club, if, they lose, if you lose Salah and Zlobos lie, do you think you can do something? So, it's, so you are going into suppositions, but uh, uh, why are you thinking that. that it's possible that Madison uh, or, and or Son can, can be injured where Salah and anybody else can be injured? So just maybe uh, th see what's going well, with the, the, the maximum of, uh, of tools, they, they, can, they can do something good. If Salah gets injured, Liverpool's still got four other top-class strikers to, to call upon. I'm not saying, that, I'm not saying that, that it's not a blow for Liverpool if somebody like Salah gets injured, but the fact is, they've got four other strikers that are w more than capable of putting the ball in the back of the net and have already done it. You can't say that about Tottenham. Arsenal's in the same spot. Arsenal have got guys 
have got more players that can put the ball in the back of the net than Tottenham. Who's Tottenham got? After Son and Madison, and Madison's a playmaker, not a goal scorer, who have Tottenham got? So those the Liverpool and Arsenal have way more than just one or two guys that can that can make a difference. Uh, Mario? Yeah. No, I, I, I understand what Steve is saying. You know, like, uh, I, I, I see what Frank, Frank is saying, but we're looking at a Liverpool that's, that's been doing it for so long. When it comes to Spurs, we also have to remember, eh, this is his first season. He has not had a dip yet with his team. So let's wait till wow. Ange, let's see what he's going to do. And when we all know the winter comes, that's when the real stuff happens. Because they have no European worries. You know, maybe. Not as, you know, like uh, the, the biggest pressure, because that's not the key thing what they really have to focus on. The focus is the league. Let's see where we can build our momentum and the normalism of the league. I think that's what Ash is focusing on. But let's see now, eh? because when the winter comes, I want to see where Spurs is. And not coming from, like, the rivalry side, because people will pick up and say, like, oh, because you're a Chelsea boy. No, that is just because Spurs is playing really, really some great football at the moment. And that's why I'm like, let's see if something happens to them regarding injuries.